It's kind of like they took the Abarth, the Fiat that Roman and I love, and they stretched it. It has the same engine. Oh my, what an incredible SRT lineup. Charger, Challenger, Jeep. Nathan, focus. Dart, Dart. We're here in Texas in the Hill Country to review and drive the brand new Dodge Dart. In fact, this is the rally version with a 1.4 liter turbocharged engine, multi-air. And we're going to take it for a ride. So don't even think about it, Nathan. Well, I just think I can no, show no, it. No, 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 Dart, we're here, Dart. I was really expecting a Julieta, and instead, style-wise, I get what could best be described as a miniature Charger, Challenger, Magnum, you name it. But that's cool. The way I look at it, this car really does carry on the family resemblance from the beautiful nose all the way to the badass looking tail. But here's the thing, in terms of the Julieta, if you really like that Italian shape, this ain't it. No, this ain't it at all. And on the inside as well, when you grab the uh, stick shift lever, you expect fine jewel-like precision, you get a little plastic knob. It's just not my cup of tea. Doesn't mean it's bad. I was just expecting a different car. And see, on the other side of it, I'm a simple American and I like something that's just chunky and right there and ready for me to bang it around. And that's exactly how it feels like to me, like it's like ready to be used. Hey, speaking of banging it around, let's do zero to 60. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Banging that thing around. Yeah. Go. All right, got some wheel spin there, Nathan. And you got a pretty violent second gear. Here comes 50. And here comes now. 60. Okay, let's see what the results were. Remember, we've got the turbo engine. What do you think, my friend? Uh, in the sevens. 9.3. There are three different engine choices. The base engine is a two liter Tiger Shark. This one is the multi-air turbo, which is a 1.4 liter, which is our favorite, I think. And of course, you can also get the bigger engine, which is 180 horsepower Tiger Shark. Nathan, why Tiger Shark? Because it sounds badass. It does sound badass. <laughs> We're going on a pretty severe corner right now. Nice and flat. Very impressive. The steering doesn't really tell you what's going on, but it's nicely weighted. And then as you come around to the rear of the vehicle, you know, talk about Dodge and leveraging some of that muscle car flavor, you know, we have the flying buttress here. Um, I, I've worked at uh, Chrysler for, uh, gosh, almost 25 years, and it seems like almost every Dodge we work on, we try to do that. And it's just something that is near and dear to our heart, and a lot of people, it resonates with a lot of people. And it goes back to the 1968 Charger that had that flying buttress. The question is, is this your grandfather's Dart? No, it's not. The original Dart had a six cylinder engine to begin with that was a slant six at 30 degrees and it was an interesting engine because it just lasted forever. But it was boring, it was front engine, rear drive, simple car. However, they also had Darts that had massive V8s with over 413 horsepower. So in certain ways, a vehicle like this that has normally aspirated and turbocharging could sort of represent something similar to the Dart in the past, but frankly, they have nothing in common except for the nameplate. All right, unlike the Julieta, there's a lot of room in this car because it's wider, taller, and longer. And Nathan, how about in the back? The Julieta has no headroom. Yeah, there's a little bit of headroom back here, but you definitely have to be careful of this little sill right here. You'll bang your head on it. So the question, of course, my friend, is? Oh, yeah. All right, do I fit? Does Nathan fit? I'm going to show you, but we're going to do it a little bit di different this time because this is surprisingly roomy. Yep. I fit. You can put a golf bag in here with me, baby. Is this the Alfa Romeo Giulietta? And the obvious answer is no. No way, no how. It's bigger, it's longer, it's wider, it's taller. It's just been Americanized. It's a dart. And in fact, Roadfly will demonstrate that right now. 
that was Elizabeth from Roadfly darting through the dart. Oh my, Nathan. Oh, oh my, oh my, that was close. So, bottom line on the new Dodge Dart. If you are looking for an Alfa Romeo, then I say wait for Alfa Romeo to come here. Don't get the Dodge Dart because because it's a Dodge Dart, because it's an independent American vehicle that's fun to drive, that's really lively, and think of this particular model with the turbocharged engine as a heavier American cousin to the Fiat Abarth. As always, this is Roman and Nathan. See you next time for the Fast Lane Car. So Nathan, we've done this 0-60 to 60 test now like 15 times because you could not believe that it was not faster than 9 seconds, but we kept getting 9 seconds, we're at sea level. I think that 160 horsepower in a big car is going to make a 0-60 to 60 time of 9 seconds. The engine feels faster, but... Yeah, I mean, we've tried it many times, and granted, I am not the most skilled driver, and there's two pretty big guys in the car, so one guy in the car who weighs 160 pounds, maybe he can get like an 8.7 or 8.6, but... We tried really hard, man. Can't do better than nine.